Hello and welcome to this discussion on language pedagogy uh, for teachers for the mega program of training of 40 lakh teachers across the country. Teachers, you are aware that this program has been taken up by Government of India and NCRT uh, to familiarize teachers on various aspects of language education, uh, language and learning, centrality of language and learning, uh, and strategies and techniques for teaching of various skills and competencies of uh, for language learning. Uh, like listening, speaking, reading, writing and also uh, how a typical classroom can be conducted where children uh, get involved and engaged in language use uh, and language ultimately lang language learning taking place. We also touch upon uh, some of the aspects of uh, how learning outcomes can be met. So, to have a discussion on this language pedagogy model uh, which we will be using uh, during your training program and afterwards. Uh, we will have a discussion now uh, with uh, two professors of NCERT from Department of Education Languages, uh, Professor Kirti Kapoor and Professor Sandhya Rani Sahu. Let me take a minute to uh, uh, throw some more light on what this uh, language pedagogy model deals with. As I said, it de deals with various aspects a teacher has to uh, take up and ca carry out and carry on in the classroom. So, uh, let me begin with Professor Sandhya uh, Rani Sahu uh, on uh, Madam, uh, this module we have developed with a lot of consultations and lot of inputs have gone into that. So, what do you think, how do you think this module addresses the aspects a, a teacher can learn and know about language and learning? Uh, thank you, Meganathan. Uh, this module very uh, um, like elaborately and also very minutely talks about uh, language uh, teaching and learning. And as uh, teachers, as we all uh, um, uh, teach languages in our own uh, classrooms, uh, we all know that uh, languages are uh, very, very important for uh, learning of all subjects. Language plays a very important role in construction of knowledge. Language is for expression, for uh, 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 for communication, for uh, uh, telling you the idea, telling the ideas, and telling about our thoughts to people. So, language plays a very very vital role uh, in uh, in learning. So, how uh, a child will learn a language, and as teachers of language, how can we facilitate uh, this language learning? First of all, we should all we all know that languages are learned by being exposed to the language exposure is most important. And second thing is that we must create input rich environment uh, for the learners uh, to have an engagement with language. And uh, language learning is meaning making. So, whatever exposure that we are giving to the children, it should be meaningful and in meaningful context. So, uh, like uh, when uh, suppose I am learning my mother tongue, nobody teaches me my mother tongue. So, I am being exposed to the language continuously, I am immersed in the language environment and I pick up language and acquire yeah, uh, language right, right, naturally. Right, right, rightly said professor, whatever professor Sanjay Sahu has said. So, Indian classrooms also multilingual. Yes. So, how a teacher can make use of it uh, in the classroom, there are about 2 or 3 or 5, 10 languages may be in the classroom, a teacher should be able to make use of it. This is one aspect the, this module uh, deals with. So, moving from uh, uh, how language learning takes place, the role of language and, uh, in learning and uh, let me ask Professor uh, Kirti Kapoor now, uh, uh, language plays a central role in learning. Yes. How this module deals with, makes an attempt to uh, make the teacher understand this please. Yes, uh, as we all know there are two main goals of language learning. One is to be able to have proficiency in that language and second is to be able to use that language to acquire knowledge. The moment we say that we are using language to acquire knowledge, we are moving across the curriculum. We are learning language through other subjects as well. So, therefore, we say language cuts across the curriculum Subject. and in this module, we have talked about language across the curriculum and now, how teachers can make use of it. Suppose, let us take the theme water conserve water. Now, 
language class teacher can take up a story on monsoon on rains and then talking about water similarly science teacher can take up the theme water and can talk about how to conserve water how to save water so it cuts across the curriculum children through this will learn to use vocabulary in different contexts it will improve their language skills and they will be able to express themselves okay right rightly said professor uh, kirti then let me also uh, say something about how this module deals with teaching a teaching a language as first language and second language and third language so indian context we teach languages as first second and or third language for example uh, in hindi hotline hindi may be the first language english has become common second language and maybe sanskrit or some other modern indian language is third language so is there a difference between among the teaching of these languages so it's a very difficult question to answer because since all the all language teachers are being trained through this uh, tr uh, language pedagogy module there must be some sensitivity of understanding towards uh, how uh, a language is dealt with when it is taught as a first language both of you have rightly said that we need not teach first language so children come with the uh, ideas of vocabulary words sound production in the first language if it's my my mother tongue is hindi i know when i come to school but in the, in, in case of english or the third language it is different so we need to really build up on a kind of flexible pedagogy for each of these languages so moving from here uh, uh, on the module uh, talks lot about how to deal with uh, language being taught as first second third language so uh, let me also now request uh, professor sandhya sagu uh, there is a need to integrate skills when you teach though language learning may sometimes take place in kind of uh, not so separated ma manner when we use language reading writing speaking everything happens together most of the time so how a, a classroom typical classroom can integrate language skills ma so uh, whenever we go to a class we prepare a lesson plan and uh, we also visualize uh, keep uh, the this four language skills in mind that how through a particular lesson we'll be able to develop those four language skills because language skills cannot be uh, taught uh, in isolation separately. for uh, separately for example i'm speaking i'm teaching a uh, speaking today i'll teach speaking skills that is not possible in with speaking listening will definitely come so when we design a lesson plan or when we design a lesson we go into the classroom uh, we uh, try to sub for example we have given uh, a lesson here how uh, um, uh, how did patrick uh, classics in classics yes classic, yes yeah. how who did patrick's homework mm. there in the beginning we talked about pre reading pre reading skills and in pre reading uh, we asked the children to talk about to brainstorm and to know what is homework and whether it is uh, uh, right or wrong and whether you like it or not and then we come to the reading part to children they start reading the uh, i mean model reading by the teacher and students read and uh, reading with understanding and after reading the lesson we talk about again we discuss and we listen we ask questions comprehension questions and then we ask the children to role play because somebody becomes the becomes elf the character here and somebody becomes uh, the uh, the uh, child here patrick and then after that we ask them to write whether you like homework whether you do not like homework let us have a debate if it is a debate that also can be so written also this, this makes so this makes learning authentic and natural exactly, exactly. absolutely great, great. Mm -hmm. so let me let me move on to that so so let let the message to the teachers uh, is let us have a, a lesson plan a design for you your own convenient way to using local resources but see that you the the opportunity for children to work together in groups and engage with language let me ask uh, professor kirti now uh, how okay a lesson has to be integrated yes. but at the same time we have children have to learn the specific skills of writing reading there are sub skills yes. so how this module uh, advocates to the teachers for example you can illustrate with one uh, one skill not in isolation of course uh, writing and grammar in context yes of course uh, like as she has rightly said and you have also pointed <laughs> out that nothing happens in isolation and writing per se that skill needs to be developed into a competency all of us have to write something or the other throughout our lives so we cannot really follow the product approach to writing so we need to follow 
process approach to writing. So you need to explain what is process approach yes. and product approach. Yes, of course. So let I teachers understand. That. Of course. <laughs> so in the, first of all, I will talk about process approach to uh, writing, and then of course the product will become clear to you. Uh, prior to writing, we can have. As teachers, you can have a whole class discussion. We are on the topic. Suppose once again you have uh, taken the topic water conservation. Let let students come out with their own ideas. Put them on the blackboard. So a lot of ideas have been gathered on the theme that we have decided for today. Now this is a whole class activity. Everybody is speaking. Everybody is sharing their views. Their context is coming into the classroom. Their experiences are coming into the classroom. Ideas also gathered. Ideas mm -hmm. also gathered. So it is a kind of a uh, you know rich source that is coming into resource that is coming into the classroom. Now next step can be individual writing. So every child is asked to write whatever they feel like writing. Then the third step is you review your own work. Mm -hmm. Now it can be a peer activity because you know two friends can sit together. They look at each other's draft. They share views. Probably you want to add something new to it. Probably you want to delete something, or probably you want to improve your spellings. Uh, you feel that you have gone wrong somewhere, so you open dictionary. So dictionary skill skill also comes in in over here. Mm -hmm. So you are checking your structures, your grammar. and at the same time you are following the rules of writing that is mechanics of writing that is how logical uh, logically yeah. you know uh, you are you have rendered your uh, paragraph so there there are every paragraph is starting with a topic sentence so all these things you look at it with your friend finally you do the editing you edit it whatever you want to remove whatever you want to add you edit it and then comes the last step that is rewriting final you finally final finally write your draft and i think this process approach is applicable to all of us we must tell our students that they have to follow this process approach to writing it's a lifelong process that, that that's well said professor keeti all creative <laughs> we writers we all suffer when we write yes. not only teachers everybody all okay. creative writers follow this all process that, that, that's what great great yes. i think this module deals with it in detail and with the activities uh with uh, with discussion points so now let me let me request professor um, sandhya sagu so please throw some light on how each activity is linked to meeting the learning outcomes yeah so actually as teachers you all know that recently we have developed uh, learning outcomes from classes 1 to 8 and in the learning outcomes we have uh, uh, we have focused on the competencies learning outcomes are competency based and for uh, to achieve the learning outcome there are certain pedagogical processes also we have talked about so let us take one example of uh, there is there is uh, teaching of lit authentic literature to the uh, to children and that here that means it also involves reading in in verse reading you have to learn literature by reading by reading yeah. only and uh, suppose when you, you when you read uh, what are the like learning outcomes that you uh, comprehend uh, whatever the text that you are reading you guess the uh, meaning of the words when you are reading and you can anticipate what will come next that is also in, in the reading and also you are as uh, you are also uh, like uh, the other learning outcome for uh, reading is that uh, you will be able to write also because uh, whatever you are understanding what you are comprehending you will be able to write uh, uh, them in uh, meaningful uh, sentences that is also right. there so uh, so for example we have taken here in in this uh, module a crow's story okay a crow's story and this is uh, i mean um, uh, this this is a very simple story but pictorial story and here uh, uh, this uh, um, the students are uh, are given this story uh, first they will be exposed to the pictures they will talk about the pictures they will read the pictures they will read the story and they will uh, use their imagination and creativity and uh, uh, they will try to complete the story on its own the teacher will not impose any story on the children children will create at the story and then looking at the pictures and then in the meantime teachers can scaffold teachers can uh, facilitate teacher can support and other peers can also also support so uh, when they read the story when they understand the story when they answer the like uh, the questions that uh, small i mean uh, short questions asked on the story on the picture so the assessment part is uh, like children are being able to answer the comprehension questions children 
children are being able to understand the story children uh, are uh, uh, guessing the meaning of the words uh, from the context fr fr so this makes the teacher uh, plan very well exactly. and also make children aware of this is what you are expected to achieve uh, so at uh, the end uh, then then you know that uh, the teacher will come to know the yes my children had achieved this learning outcomes which are there uh, for uh, re uh, for uh, thank development thank of reading well competence well said, well said okay let me also add one more aspect this module also uh, covers deals with teaching of vocabulary in context the uh, thematic vocabulary yes. and also uh, grammar in context so we also we never advocate uh, any aspect can be taught uh, in isolation so is yes, grammar so grammar grammar thing is also so before i come to ask you our last words about it in the sense how teachers can make use of it and other activities let me also say a few more things about uh, what this uh, language pedagogy module uh, 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 attempts to uh, uh, cover and expect the teachers and the trainers to do there are lots of activities uh, as discussion points uh, engagement group work pair work for the trainers as well teachers as well as children there are two aspects running uh, almost kind of parallel one is activities for uh, teachers and the uh, trainers resource group also how a typical classroom activities can take place the hallmark is a, is that a classroom has to have group work pair work uh, engagement with language children learn language by using it it's it's kind of skill so we have been talking about so now and it also has lot of activities for further reading uh, a book review uh, and a kind of assignments for the trainers teachers as well as for children in the classroom so there are many ma many more things this will be made available uh, online uh, with the mhrd and ncert website you can see that before uh, we close let me request the professors here so how do you expect the teachers to use it and further uh, they can create their own uh, resources there is something called reculturing uh, that's what uh, great uh, pedagogues talk about that is i have been trained or i have been oriented by somebody how i will take this use it in the classroom and with my own abilities i also i am not mechanical person i also have resources so both of you quickly a minute each so first of all i would like to talk about you know as you said resources mm. so what are the resources that are available with me and how can i make the best use of it so as she rightly said that we have to create that input rich communicational environment now what is input input comes in various forms it can be print input it can be through audio video it can be ict now teachers can bring input as per the level of the students uh they can bring newspapers articles magazines or audio videos then next is input rich they have to make it rich now what is this rich rich means it should be age appropriate it should be interesting it should be as per the level of the students so that will make the input rich children will connect with it and once you are making it rich i'll ask the learners to pull in their resources they can bring in their magazines their stories their experiences so therefore you are making your classroom a rich resourceful classroom where input is from everybody yeah, right. everywhere and then communicational which is very important now communicational here means you know there it's a two way process largely we see that you know uh, teacher talk dominates the classroom no here student should also communicate so therefore our activities our strategies our resources should be used in such a manner that there is a lot of space for the students to talk to speak then only they will be able okay. to learn right is a professor professor yes. kirti thank you ma'am so as uh, professor kirti has rightly pointed out that we must create input rich environment and we must make uh, the teachers bring resources to the classroom students can also bring resources to the classroom also to create that input rich environment but how to use this uh, resources that is also very important because suppose i get a story and what to what should i do with the story how can i i mean make my children uh, uh, participate and get involved in their own, in the learning process in uh, so the most important thing that the children teacher must create opportunity is to provide experiential learning to the children children should make use of the language make use of the language and this sure. experiential learning children will be 
involved children will also try to participate the more they are uh, involved the more they use the language they become the better language users and teachers with this resources the teacher can also design activities uh, for variety of students because we have um, uh, st students with multiple intelligence students with variety of i mean uh, uh, abilities, yeah. abilities and uh, skills. Uh, skills so some children are visual learners some children are kinesthetic learners some children are auditory learners so teachers will design the activities in such a way taking these uh, i mean resources so that children will get the opportunity to be engaged uh, with the language and uh, participate in their own learning and start using the language and become the proficient mm -hmm. user thank you, thank of you language. Thank you, Well said. Let us conclude by saying some of the uh, things to the teachers. So, this module is actually attempting to familiarize you, sensitize you towards the, a kind of ideal language pedagogy, how a te typical teacher can make use of the resources available in the form of textbook, our own activities and audio video available. There are lots of things available in CRT website, MHRD website has national uh, uh, repository of open educational resources, e Patsala, many more things, MOOC, uh, uh, MOOC uh, modules, many more things available. But teachers, uh, just remember, there are two things we would like to uh, put across to you. There is no teaching without learning. Yes. We, I, I teach for hours. What is the use of it if children do not learn? So, the, the end point or the starting point should be learners and they are using the language. The other one, uh, we are here in school because children are there. So, ultimately our aim is to make children learn and enable them to learn. So, for which we need to make learners use the language more. There is also saying that uh, increase children's talk and reduce teacher's talk. And this this can happen when you design an activity uh, uh, th as this model uh, uh, advocates a uh, lot of activities where children are involved in using language. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, professors, for your uh, means well-meaning interaction. Uh, we hope that this helps uh, children uh, in uh, learning language better through the instrument of teachers. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you. much.